Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make animated water in Blender. This is going to be a low poly Blender tutorial, so let's get started. Now we want to start off by switching to cycles, which is a lot more realistic. And then you're going to click X to delete the cube. And then you're going to add a plane. And you're going to scale it up with S. And left click to confirm, go to edit mode. And click W to subdivide and make the number of cuts to 50. Now I want to go back to object mode and go into the settings. So open the settings like this and go to textures, add a new texture and switch to clouds and change the size to 0 0.2. Now I want to go to modifiers Add a modifier and add a displace modifier. I'm going to use the texture you already made and strength down to 0 0.1. And then we're going to add a new modifier. And the new modifier is going to be a decimate modifier and put the rate down to 0 0.3. Around that, you can decide. Now apply the decimates and now we want to go into the shape keys because we're going to animate. So add two new shape keys. And the first one is the basis and the second one is the one we're going to change to make it into an animation. So click A to deselect everything, click select and then click random. Now we're going to move these up and down. Just enable proportional editing and numpad 1 to go to front view and click G then set to grab it upwards and you can use the mouse wheel to change the size of how many you want to move at the same time and just try it out try to change it as much just try to make it uh, wave like that's kind of the point. Now we're gonna go back to object mode. We're gonna add a new shape key. And as you can see, if we increase the value to one, we can change between them. Okay, now we're gonna change the second key. Go to edit mode. And we're going to deselect with A. And we're gonna select new random um, versus and again, you can click G, then set, and grab it the way you want. I'm going to use the mouse wheel to make it a little bit different than from the last time. And object mode. And as you can see now, we have another animation. I'm just going to save it so that in case something happens. So just name it whatever you want. And save. Okay, so now it's time to add keyframes to the keys so that we can animate between these different values. So we're going to click I, just change this one to one, and click I to keyframe it. And then keyframe the other one with I. And I'm just going to change between the value 1 and 0 between these two. Then I'm going to go to frame 50 and increase the value to 1, click I to keyframe. And the other one down to zero again. Click I to keyframe. Now I'm going to go up to frame 100. And I'm going to change the value to 1. I to keyframe. Decrease the value to zero. And I to keyframe. And I'm just going to do this for 150 frames in this tutorial. You can make it as long as you want yourself. So 150. Increase the value to 1, keyframe with I, decrease the value to 0, keyframe with I. And as you can see now, we now have a low poly water animation. As you can see, if you play it, the FPS is a little bit low now because I'm recording, but you can see that it works. And you can just tweak this as much as you want. 
make it look like more realistic, I guess. And then we are going to go to uh, lock camera to view. So if we click zero, numpad zero and use the middle mouse button to look around, you can make the camera follow where you are currently looking, which is really useful. And then I think you're going to have the camera around here. Now I'm just going to find the spot I like and see how it looks. So I think it's a good perspective on the water. So I think I'm going to choose this place. Now I'm going to start adding materials and start adding lighting and eventually clouds to make it look better. So I'm going to start off the, with a material and I'm going to add a new material to the water itself and I'm going to change it to glass and the roughness to 1 and the IOR to 4.8 and I'm gonna make the glass or the glass material which is gonna look like water to blue and then I'm gonna select the lighting and change it to Sun now increase the size to uh, 1 and then we're gonna use nodes and increase the strength to 2 and the next part is to we can look how it looks in a rendered mode as you can see I think I like the blue color so let's add a background or the sky use nodes and change the color to a light bluish color just try to make it as real life like as possible. I like this blue color so I think I'm going to choose that one. The next step is to add clouds and I think it's fairly easy to add clouds so let's just turn off the lock to camera or lock camera to view and click e shift F if you want to use fly mode which is a different way to move the camera around and I'm gonna have it around here so let's add the clouds now you can actually change where you want object to spawn uh, to spawn in blender and the way to do that is to left click somewhere and that way when we add a sphere later on the sphere will come up here where I added a 3d cursor and as you can see pops up there I'm gonna scale it on the x-axis SX scale it on the x-axis and I'm gonna click S and scale it down then I'm gonna add a decimate modifier to make it more low poly looking so just decrease the value a lot and as you can see it starts to look better like the, oop, like this I think it looks good and now let's add a material and I'm gonna mix emission and diffuse because when I just use diffuse it turns out to be too blue so a mix shader and then first you want to add an emission and then diffuse and if you go back to rendered mode now you can see that it looks really good it looks really white which is important now go back to solid mode and I'm going to click shift D to duplicate and I'm just going to grab it GY backwards so that it looks smaller scale it down a little bit and then R set to rotate it on the set axis okay the scene is actually starting to look really good so now I'm just gonna maybe adjust a few lights or adjust a few materials um, for example the C color you can change that if you want to just make it the color you want I like this color and 
maybe go to the lighting as well just back to solid mode select the lighting or the sun and I think I'm gonna make the color a little bit more yellowish maybe you just have to experiment with the colors so it doesn't really make that much of a difference actually anyways I'm gonna start rendering this now and afterwards I'm gonna show you how to make this into an animation because this is just one picture obviously and you want to see the animation you made so okay the render is done so now I can save the image go to image and click save as image and name it whatever you want we're gonna save this as an PNG file and click enter afterwards and then we're gonna go back to 3d view and go to solid mode and I'm gonna chalk this animation down because it only lasts for 150 frames so I'm going to change the end frame to 150 and the way to do that is to go here and click 150 now the animation ends there and now you can select the place you want to save the file and change your age 264 and click MPEG4 which is mp4 and you can of course decrease or increase the sample value if you want to so after that you can just click animation and it will start making it into a mp4 file and that's it for this tutorial if you want to see more tutorials like this in this format just subscribe to my channel and the finished file is in the description thank you